Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Stripe Payment Integration React and the Node.js. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So first we will check the demo. <coughs> so here we are going to add the localhost. Okay, then we will add the email address. So I will add the another email address, technical rajni. 1993 at the rate gmail.com okay car details then we will add the expiry date then cvc then the country you need to select then pay now thank you for the purchase and this is our payment intent so we can check this transaction details okay so let's go to the payments here this is the transaction let's match this transaction so this is the last transaction that we have done technical rajni and here you can see all the details payment successful and all right this is transaction id this is number fingerprint and all the details right so you can see that the payment is marked as payment success okay so success part is there right so how we are going to achieve this one and here you can see that success is there and the ip desktop everything is there right and the location part is also there ip address for the billing one okay so how we are going to do that in the node shares and the react let's have a look on that one okay so here we go with the code level first we do the server.js okay so first we required express then we have to this is your test secret API key. Don't you have to add it over. This is basically the test one. Okay. So you need to add it over here. All right. Next, we are using the express static public path and JSON. Okay. Then we have a calculate order amount, like the amount which we have to replace with the, this with the constant with calculation of the orders amount. Right. After this, we have a new API URL or the route you can say the create payment intent okay so here we are sending the required body which consists of the items okay calculate we have the calculate amount order then the item we have to return then cal currency you have to send statement descriptor you have to add automatic payments enable true okay so this is automatic payment part right then we have to send the client as a payment intent client secret we have to send okay then the react will use this client secret to do the payment part okay this is the success url this is cancel url okay and the app dot listen on the port 422 okay 4242 right so this is the uh, server.js file in the node.js application so you have to create this one right so this is server end and you have to install the express for that one okay normal node.js implementation correct next we have the react application okay so this is the source file for the react you have to create the app.jsx checkout then we have the index that is all that we haven't changed anything so main file is app.jsx and checkout form right so first we go with the checkout form which is look like this one okay so this the form that we have to the payment part that is checkout so what we have to add we have to stripe react stripe we have to add into our react project they have the payment element link authentication element use stripe use elements okay so first we use this use stripe and the elements like this stripe and the elements checkout form we are making in email you have to set okay then we have a use effect we have added if it is not stripe then return then we are going to url search params okay so payment intent client secret if we get it okay if it this is client secret if not then return if we get the client secret then we will do the payment intent stripe retrieve payment intent client secret then payment intent if it is succeed set, set the message payment success or here you can add the redirection part like redirect to log redirect to success redirect to processing or something you can add it over here right so these all are the switch methods that you can see about this success processing on the behalf of it you can do the redirection of the pages whether there is something went wrong whether the processing the payment or payment success okay so this is that one you can do the handling of here okay 
next we have a handle submit on the submit button click if there is no stripe no elements then return the stripe hasn't yet loaded okay in that meantime right then set loading is to be true then we have a stripe confirm payment if it is done then we will make the redirection to the success part okay payment completion page i have just redirected okay like this i have already done this one right it's redirected payment successful thank you for your purchase right and then this point is will only be reached if there is immediate error confirming the payment otherwise your customer will be redirected to the return url okay next we have a type card errors validation errors like uh, if the like you can say the card is wrong the cvc wrong or something you have done uh, wrong so it will show that messages okay unexpected error then set loading is to be false handle email change okay just put the email over here right and set that one and create that one so here we have the payment options layout tabs okay then this is the form that is important link authentication element id so this is payment id so you need to pass the button disabled and all these parameters and this is the message we have to show like the payment is successful or something because in the above we have already set the messages over here you can see set the message set message this so we are just consoling just showing the messages over here like the message then the payment messages over here whether it's to payment successful processing or something we can do it over here okay so this is the full fledged code of the react stripe and the in the app.js what we have add load stripe stripe.js react stripe we have both added okay so we have initialized with the first create payment intent so whenever the form is load we will fetch this create payment and we will get we have passed the excel t-shirt size items okay then set the client secret okay the server.js file returns you can see that we have a client secret okay so set the client secret after setting the client secret the appearance is the theme stripe options client secret and appearance then in the element options that we have a checkout form so it is wrapped in the element part okay so we have sent the options and the stripe promise okay this is stripe part that we have loaded okay after doing that one the form will open and do the payment and handle the error and the payment failures and success okay so this is how we are able to do the stripe integration with the node.js and the react application any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day